Okay, right, hello and welcome back to another video. This week I am very pleased to announce that I have finished part four of my materials course looking at post-process materials. So um, it's all available right now on the content examples and all the tutorial videos. Comes to about three and a half hours of tutorials and about 39 or exactly 39 uh, worked examples some of whom or some of which we're going to have a quick look at now so um, do go and check it out uh, links below to the page um, yeah so a few things we're going to be having a look at so simple pixelation um, manipulating UVs to get uh, different results like we might want here uh, we have a look at chromatic aberrations so again different ways we can control uh, our, our UVs different channels um, fake fog so using the depth buffer to create a foggy uh, result like we see here uh, we have a big section on blurs so lots of different types of blurs Gaussian blur here or a spin blur there I'm not sure how well that's going to come across in the video but they are blurring the screen um, we have a look at uh, some distortions so uh, if you're trying to replicate real world camera photography quite often you get distortion them in your image uh, and there's some simple ways we can do that with a, a post-process material uh, we have a look at some of the classics so a Sobel edge detection uh, creating outlines either using depth buffer or world normal we have a look at the stencil buffer using that to highlight objects uh, and ignoring depth so we're able to sort of see through walls and see objects behind other objects um, and then a few artistic approaches so an underwater shader uh, underwater post-process um, using distortion and, and what have you um, the uh, night vision looks better with the lights off um, so uh, adding texture to a screen brightening things up obviously having a green tint on things uh, quite a nice little uh, material there uh, and then finally uh, one of the classics doing a hand-drawn sketchy effect so um, let's put the lights back on as well there we go looks better um, so texturing uh, in various different spaces, world space projections, camera space, light space, however we want to do, um, and then kind of picking up edges and, and creating this kind of effect as well. So um, as I say, about three and a half hours worth of video content, 29 uh, worked example materials, all neatly broken down um, and easy to follow to build up your knowledge of post-process effects. So uh, do head over to Gumroad and check that out. Uh, and also, uh, if you've been sort of watching these tutorials thinking, hmm, maybe, maybe I'll get one at some point, uh, I've put together a bundle. So all four asset packs, uh, so introduction environments, uh, world position offset animation, uh, visual effects, and now post process. All four of those are available um, for a reduced rate if you buy them all together. So, again, that is over uh, on Gumroad. So, do go and check that out. Uh, I'm very proud of these. There's a lot of work gone into them. It's about 15 years worth of my career all gone into these. Uh, this about 40 hours, I think, 35 hours worth of, of video content, about 250. Um, material worked examples so um, lots and lots of good stuff to go and check out there um, and I hope you will and I hope you all make some really cool art out of your work with that um, when you do um, new tutorials coming soon uh, hopefully going to start looking at some Niagara and blueprints and maybe cinematics and lighting and who knows where we'll go next but um, but do go and check out the materials now on Gumroad and I'll see you all next time